Can your diet affect your stock trading? Can your diet determine where your investments are going to go? I believe they do, and I am actually proof of that. So let's just get started. What is What affects your stock trading or your investing? Well, it's really two things. It's your rational side, your ability to do your research and make a rational decision based on information. And then two is the emotional side, and that's being able to handle the ups and downs of the roller coaster ride of any investment that you uh, put your money in. Now, one of the things that really affects our emotion is um, the, you know, the way we process our thoughts. Um, two people could have the same experience. One could be more traumatized by the experience than another person. But one of the things that's been found that really affects our emotions is what we eat, which is basically like we're like a computer. The food is like the input into our body, and that food can affect how our brain operates, how our body operates. So, um, you know, if you look up what are foods that, are, um, that can calm down your body, you look at foods that are more like whole foods, like whole grains, uh, natural foods, fruits and vegetables. If you look at foods that have been found to adversely affect people's emotions in their body, that's more processed sugar, um, saturated fats that come from low quality meats. People don't think about it, but when you, if you know someone who gets very triggered, you know, gets very angry, very short tempered, chances are they're eating food, for instance, that has a lot of salt in it, a lot of sodium, because sodium, high sodium levels raises blood pressure that restricts blood flow to the brain. Uh, you know, the brain short, short fuses, allows people to get very emotional and very rattled. Um, as opposed to when you eat a whole food, let's say um, a vegetable and the whole vegetable, um, it, every, all the nutrients are packed in that food which your body can take in and break apart and process naturally. And that makes you more centered and more balanced. And in the end, that will allow you to make better decisions when you're making investments because when you're making an investment, you could, that investment can turn against you for a couple of months, even a year, and you really have to be centered and balanced knowing this is a good investment, this is just not the right time for that investment, and not panic or get angry and then sell and become too too emotional. So just to use from my own experience, um, I'll talk about, I've talked about this in a previous video, but I used to weigh 360 pounds um, really up until my late 20s, about 28 or 29. And at that time I was working a high stress job, which caused me to overeat. I worked in the advertising business and I found myself like being filled with anxiety and anger all the time and not being balanced and centered. And I just, I realized when I was about to turn 30 that I had to make a change in my life. I had to lose this weight because I kind of, I had gotten away with being 200 pounds overweight in my 20s. I knew in my 30s that I would have serious health issues. And now I'm 44. If I kept that weight on now, I'd be on like 20 different medications or I'd probably, you know, have already had a heart attack. So... Um, the, 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 one of the, um, the, one of the things that I would recommend is write out everything you eat. We probably not, con we, we eat sort of subconsciously. If you see foods that, um, that, that are overly processed, if you're eating a lot of, um, salty foods, try to cut down on that. Um, also think about times you become overly emotional. I mean, do you get triggered by watching YouTube videos? If you, if you do, that's probably a sign that there's some sort of emotional imbalance that you should address. Um, some examples, I just want to offer uh, some more examples of common foods that through my research I have found that have helped me. Uh, oatmeal and the whole grain oatmeal, not the instant oatmeal. Um, rice, whole grain foods, uh, fruits, uh, vegetables. Um, also, make sure you're not deficient in any vitamin or any uh, micronutrient. And that's, you know, again, when you go through everything you eat, you can go ahead and look at the nutritional information and just see you might be deficient in a vitamin or a micronutrient that could cause you to be imbalanced and that could definitely affect your trading. So um, look at that. It's not very hard. It's, it's, 
it seems when you look at the world of nutrients and stuff, it could be kind of intimidating, but it's not really, it, in the end, it's only really a list of about 20 to 25 nutrients that you have to make sure you're, you're getting every day. So just um, in summary, with the right diet, you can be emotionally balanced, and that'll allow you to not only make the right decision when you trade, but to stick with that right decision. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.